Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another gold making video. Today we're going to be talking about five more forgotten items. This is officially part five of the forgotten item series, and this episode is actually going to be focused on a transmutation slash flipping. So in the past, I've kind of done like old world, I've done some Shadowlands and stuff, but I thought this episode was going to be more about flipping slash transmutations. So it'll make a lot more sense once we get into this, but if you guys have never seen this series before, basically what I do is pick out three to five items, which I feel are kind of deemed forgotten, or a lot of people just just don't know they exist, or they sell well, or generally they're just a lot less popular than the current kind of meta for gold making. But without further ado, if you haven't seen any of the episodes, I try not to duplicate anything, so definitely go check those out. So I will leave the playlist down below in the description. But without further ado, we are going to get right into it. So the first item that we're going to be talking about is Spirits of Harmony. Now, Spirits of Harmony have a pretty, pretty big history. They're very useful in many type of cosmetic and mount crafting, and they also have a very interesting history because they used to be botted a lot. So, back in the day, kind of in, during BFA and prior to that, a lot of bots were farming Spirits of Harmony or farming other things, which was the byproduct of Spirits of Harmony. So previously, these used to be very cheap. A lot of you have probably recognized if you've been playing for a few years, Spirits, you could buy them as low as 50 gold or less on your really high populated servers because of the amount that bots were botting them. But... You know, BFA continued, Shadowlands was released, and all these bots went to other farms, they went to Classic, all of this, and so Spirits of Harmony have raised in price like crazy. Currently, the spirit average price on the US realms is 300 gold. That is a huge increase from 50. So, there are two things that you can do in order to make gold with this, and the first one is super simple, no professions required, and that is turning motes into spirits. So, Spirits of Harmony is the actual crafting reagent that is used for, let's say, living steel and uh, various other things, but the motes are kind of the, the small versions. So, you need 10 motes of harmony to create one spirit. So, what you can do is a lot of times on the auction house, you can simply buy moats at a cheaper price than spirits, turn them into spirits, and resell them. For example, using US median prices, like I said before, spirits go for 300 gold average, while moats go for 25 gold average. So if we need 10 of them, that means you're making spirits for 250 gold, and you can sell them at 300. So, taking account of the 5% auction house cut, if you bought moats at 25, sold them for 300, then you could be making 35 gold profit per spirit sold. Once again, this is the US median, so it might look a little bit different on EU and also your personal server, but this is just a simple way that you can check your auction house. It'll take two minutes, buy them up, turn them into spirits, post them back. Also, for the crafters out there that actually use spirits, making sure you can use this to your advantage and, you know, simply just craft those spirits at a cheaper price. So, another real-world example, which if you are on this realm, you can actually take advantage of this, um, it is the Wormrest Accord on the U.S. realms. This is the 21st of October, whenever I'm recording this, and this will be published that following Tuesday. Currently, it's a Thursday. So, I don't know if this deal will still be available, but I just pulled a real world example. So right now on Worm Rest Accord, spirits go for an average of about 400 gold, while moats go for an average of about 24 gold. And currently there are over 1100 moats available on the auction house for a range of 24 to 30 gold. So you can go there now, buy about 1200 moats for an average of about 27 gold each, which means you're being able to make 118 spirits for 270 gold. So taking that 400 gold average selling cost of spirits, taking the auction house cut out, you can make about 100 gold profit per spirit, 
And having 118 of them, that means you can simply make almost 12,000 gold by simply buying this out. So, of course, you do need that initial investment in order to buy all the moats, and then, of course, you do have to sell them. But for somebody who wants to get into material flipping, this is a great example. Also, for the people who do want to farm out there, it is very possible to farm these. Um, there's a lot of group farms that you can do, but if somebody's looking for a solo farm, if you guys go into Mist of Pandaria, then you can queue for the Dread Approach which is the Heart of Fear Raid LFR. Just go to the LFR queuer and then queue up for that one. You'll be instantly teleported into that dungeon. And all you do is kill all the trash mobs up to the first boss, which is like the first two rooms. There's simple videos of this. If you just look up Heart of Fear, Spirits of Harmony, you can get a more in-depth tutorial. But you just go there, kill the first two rooms, and in about 30 minutes, you can get about 13 spirits. So nothing insane, but definitely you can farm this if you want. But simply just taking a minute a day, searching up moats, buying them for cheap, crafting them into spirits is a great way to make gold. So the second thing on our list is turning serenite into titanium. So this is an alchemy transmute, which means I highly suggest having a transmute master so you can get procs on this. But this simple transmute is turning eight serenite bars into one bar of titanium. This is super nice because personally on my server, I can get serenite for very, very cheap, while titanium is going for 400 to 500 gold. The reason why titanium sells is that it can be used for titan steel bars, which is just one example, and titan steel bars are used for the mechanohog, which is an engineering mount. But this is personally what I do to cut down on my cost on Mechano Hogs. What I do is I purchase Serenite Ore, which means I would need 16 ore per bar of titanium because two ore equals a bar of Serenite. And so I can buy these super cheap in like the 15 to 20 gold range. I can turn them into Serenite bars and then send them over to my alchemist and turn eight Serenite bars into titanium. This is super sweet because already I'm saving gold instead of just purchasing titanium ore or bars. But with Transmute Master, now I can actually have potential procs. So then I actually turn eight Serenite bars into two titanium or three titanium. So having that extra bonus, even let's say you're evening out. Let's say you can buy eight Serenite bars for 300 gold and titanium is going for 300 gold. Technically, you know, if you get enough procs, then you're still making gold because every once in a while, you know, you're turning 300 gold into 600 gold because of that extra proc. So this one is kind of really server dependent, like I said before. Definitely, if you guys are a mount crafter for the Mechanohog or use Titan Steel or Titanium for anything, definitely using this method could help you out tremendously. But before I actually had the hog recipe, I simply did this transmute and just sold the titanium by itself, and I've sold a good amount of it for about 50,000 gold profit so far, so very happy with that, and we're going to be moving on to the third item. So this third item is actually a simple flip. The next two are going to be simple flips, kind of like the spirits one, and this is monolite ore. So... Technically, this isn't something that you craft or anything like that. You literally just buy and repost it. But I did want to talk about it because this was a very successful flip at the start of Shadowlands. And it's kind of died down. Not a lot of people look for it anymore. And sometimes you can find really good deals. So the thing about this ore is that it is used for a variety of cosmetics and mounts from BFA. The big one is the engineering mounts from BFA, which I really don't know the name, but I think it's like XIY. There will be a picture on screen. I forgot the name off the top of my head. So what happened was, you know, BFA was over, Shadowlands came out, so nobody is actively farming this ore anymore. But for everybody who, you know, still crafts the mount, still sells the mount, still wants the mount, they need monolite ore, and there's just not enough of it. So the price has gone up a ton. So if you look at the chart on the Undermine Journal of the US region average, 
During BFA, the average of monolite ore was about 7 gold apiece, and currently to this day, it's about 20 gold apiece average now. So it has over doubled its value so far, and it is still kind of rising. So what you can do is right now, I know monolite is actually 20 gold on my server, but every once in a while, somebody will find it in their banks or farm a little bit and just kind of dump it on the auction house for a lower price. So if you can pick up this monolite ore, you know, for 7 to 10 gold or even cheaper, you're able to purchase it, reset that price, and then make some gold off of it. Even right now, if your standard price on your server is, let's say, 10 to 15 gold, if you want to risk it, you could possibly potentially reset that to 20 to 25 gold and see how well it sells. It is very server dependent and I can't really tell you if it's worth it to flip unless you try it out and see how your server works. But just being aware of this or being aware why it's important, definitely if you see any cheap deals, you can look out for that. Besides that, you could also go and farm it. You can look up monolite ore farms if that's something you want to do. I personally am not sure if that's the best thing you should do in terms of gold per hour, but it's there for a possibility if you do want to go back to BFA. Now, the fourth item that we're going to be talking about is a very time-specific item. So if you're watching this, you know, possibly three weeks or four weeks after it's been posted, this will not apply to you anymore. And what this is, is the coin of many faces. So last week, exactly, actually a week from now, I posted about the Hollow's End event, which is the Halloween event inside of WoW. And currently, during last week and this week, it ends on November 1st, you are able to farm these toys, which are called coin of many faces. And they're also BOE. So during this event, what happens is a ton of people farm them and the price goes way, way down because people are flooding the auction house and there's just not enough buyers. So what you can do is during this week, if you see very cheap coins, pick them up, shove them in a guild bank, shove them in a personal bank, and then hopefully, you know, three months, six months from now, they will be double in value and then you can sell them off. Personally, uh, last year, I believe, I purchased coins for about 2k a piece. That is pretty expensive compared to high pops and full pops, but I am on a medium pop, and I was able to sell them for anywhere between 5 to 10k a piece. And the year previously before that, I was actually selling coins for 16 to 20,000 gold a piece. So definitely keep an eye out for these. I would highly recommend checking out the Undermine Journal, see kind of how that trend is for your server, see how much they were selling for last year. And if there's a pretty high profit margin, definitely pick them up, forget about them, and then of course bring them out in a few months and sell them off. So this is definitely a more long-term flip. I just wanted to make sure I included it in this video because it is very time-specific. And lastly, we have our final transmute, which is converting Pandarian green gems to Pandarian blue gems. So if you guys are not familiar with uh, jewelry crafting in Pandaria, there are five panther mounts which you can craft and sell and they all correspond to a color. So one of them is the black one, which you actually need the other panthers to craft. So that one doesn't really count, but the four colorful ones, there is a red, blue, green, and yellow. They all correspond to that color of rare gem from Pandaria. So for example, the blue one requires River's Heart, and that is the blue rare gem, AKA like the Sapphire of the group. So what you can do is you can either buy these green gems off the auction house or you can prospect if you have their jewelry crafter. You can prospect, let's say, ghost iron ore or copyright. Both of them have the same or basically the same prospecting. So whatever's cheaper, you can buy that out and prospect the green gems. Or if you could buy green gems for, you know, two to five gold a piece, go ahead and do that. It'll save you time if you don't have a jewelry crafter. Then what you can do is with one green gem and one golden lotus, you can turn it into one blue gem. So this is personally what I do to make a ton of profit with my panthers. Generally, let's say the river's heart, which I mentioned before, go for about 300 gold a piece on my server, but I've been able to pick up golden lotus for about 40 gold. And I 
purchase or I prospect these gems and they're, you know, maybe five gold a piece. So then my blue gems now cost me 45 gold or 55 gold, depending on your golden lotus price, instead of 300 gold a piece. Also, like I mentioned before with the Serenite Titanium, if you have a Transmute Master, there's a potential for these to proc. And I've had, I believe, the highest you can proc is 5. It might only be 3, but either way, you can turn potentially 45 gold into 1,200 gold if you get 3 of these gems or 4 of these gems. So... That's just kind of an example, my personal real world example. And also like, I use this literally every single time I craft Panthers. And of course you guys do not need to craft Panthers. You can simply sell these blue gems. People who are crafting Tome of Illusions, who are enchanters, people who are lazy with Panthers, or just any other cosmetic that uses these gems. A lot of people can't transmute themselves don't even know it's a thing, and we'll just strictly buy the gems off the auction house. Now, one thing I will say is that these are gems, which means they do have a high deposit cost, so I would not post more than, let's say, 20 at a time, because 20 is what you need for one solid panther, and I also would not constantly undercut. I would probably do one of these things where you post for either 12 or 24 hours and just leave it alone. It's not going to be a super fast seller because it's old world, but you just want to make sure that deposit cost is not getting out of hand. Also, a quick tip for you is if you guys cannot find cheap Golden Lotus, I still have a stockpile, like I said, of having Golden Lotus for about 50 gold a piece, but I do know personally on my server, I believe they're up to about 150 gold to 200 gold now. So if you are on a server that's not very lucky enough to have cheap Golden Lotus, you can purchase them for Spirits of Harmony. So if it does work out, you can trade one Spirit of Harmony for two Golden Lotus if that saves you gold, and you just do that at the shrine inside of Pandaria. Either the Horde one or the Alliance one, depending on your faction. But personally, I think this is a great transmute, whether you take it all the way and craft them into Panthers or Tomes, or you just simply sell the gems, definitely something to make some side income with. But yeah, guys, that is basically it. That was a lot of information, so I do apologize if that was fast. I try to condense this as much as I can, but... Sometimes that either makes me accidentally forget some data or that makes me talk very, very fast. Also, when I'm excited, I talk fast. So I apologize. Let me know if you have any questions, if you guys missed something or if I said something weird and I didn't even notice. Just let me know. And of course, if you guys haven't already, be sure to join the Discord down below. That is the main community area that we have. You'll be notified if anything urgent comes up, if I'm live streaming, if there's giveaways anything involving the community but this is it guys i hope you enjoy hopefully at least one of these spark your interest and can help you make some additional gold within the next few months but thank you guys so much for watching and of course have a good day <laughs>